other side of the door, the door shakes, chunks of it break through. You think you see like a claw kind of like tear through at the bottom of the strike. Uh, and now you can hear through the, the quickly disintegrating door, you can hear snarling and uh, hissing. Does uh, it sound like ghouls? Uh, you did just fight ghouls. It sounds similar. Yep. Yeah, like raspy humanoid throat noises. Uh, Rin? Ready, action. Vicious yeah, mockery, the angry. first thing that comes through the door. Fuck yeah. Uh, eight? Yeah, I'm gonna move again. So, I feel uh, like just letting them get through the door and then bottlenecking them and attacking the shit out of them. I like this one. <laughs> I think that's the better plan. It feels <laughs> like she's just gonna let that happen. Okay. Alright, so do you want me to stand there? And then they can only come in through one? one that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Is Jules gonna move up? We'd okay. be able to attack them through the doorway, so... Okay. I will move that. I will ready to stab on. Oh, this door is super weirdly placed because is it two wide or one wide? It's two. Okay. Yeah, it's big. Big uh, old door. Okay, and then eight. What's your what's your action? So you move. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna hold an action to stab when something comes through the door. All right. Uh, Jewel. So should I move next to you, eight? Um, up to you. Or let something go into that square. I don't think it makes a huge difference. I'll do it. If you stay there, I'll be attacked twice. If you move forward, then they might hit. Okay, I'll stay. Uh, ready to action. Stab. Thing. Well, if they don't move... Eh, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, ready to action. Just stab something. Okay. All right. Makaria, there's a four. Um... Yeah, I, I think so. Um, I don't, I don't see much. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much else to do. So it's all the other I think so. Okay, so, uh, first one attack the door. Uh, that's a six. 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 Uh, hits it, and I guess they're very good. It shreds the door. There we go. Uh, nine damage. Okay, so the door, the door is smashed down. Right? The, the well, you see these claws. They're human, human size. It's a little, little Resident Evil. Human size like hands, but then the fingers are elongated and end in, in sharp talons. Uh, the skin on the fingers is gray. Uh, there is um, like it's like torn. You can see the bone underneath, and it smashes through and rips the door down and through the, the hole, and as the door is being pulled apart, you see on the other side three of these creatures. They look like they were human ones, but now their uh, their flesh has uh, long, um, like, dried and half to but unlike the ghouls before, there is a there's a gleam of, of dark uh, intelligence in their eyes. Um, oh no, they're greater ghouls! Yeah, they're super ghouls. Yeah, they're winged ghouls. Um, they're, they're very... Imagine if, like, if you ask Todd McFarlane to design a ghoul, like they have like jagged Something teeth here. and like a long stringy tongue, and the thing that it's not, it's not their face, it's not the claws, it's not the, it's not the the bad attitude, it's the smell. So a horrible stench yeah. bursts forth as they tear the door down. So let me yank that out of the way and put them on the uh, on the map for you. Uh, you see beyond, uh, you see a group of. Let me just clear. Get a there. there you go. You little tongue. So you see, yeah, you see three of these these ghasts. So the first one went. He tears the door down. Uh, the next one uh, rushes up to attack. You stab him. Yeah, and you get to go ahead and do your attack. All the things. Oh, but let me check with the stink. Let's see what the stink is. Oh, it's when you start using it. Okay, alright. Yeah. Awful oh, stench. Alright, you both strike it. It leaps forward. <laughs> trying to kill you, and you both just like, ha ha ha. Great. Okay. So, cricket, uh, this thing is for 14 damage. Uh. Maybe deal 11. 
and then vicious mockery. I mock. <laughs> Viciously. And the dead are told. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's actually the new Fear of the Souls told the dead. I told them. I told them. Okay, so uh, he gets a three on his wisdom save against Vicious Mockery. He's mocked viciously. Oh, please fail my wisdom save as well. Uh, so he has disadvantage on his next attack. He gets a wisdom save uh, against the uh, necrotizing effects. He gets a three and fails. 17 necrotic damage. Uh, okay, he's resistant to necrotic damage. But not invulnerable, right? Not invulnerable. Hey, it's still a lot. So he takes uh, eight damage? Yeah. Yes, it is still alive. <laughs> so all of you just like rip into him. <laughs> he gets stabbed Ooh. and flashed. Oh no, it's still alive. And got, and got told, um, but it's still he's still fighting. So he's gonna get his turn. So he moves, he gets to make a claw attack. Oh, um, oh yeah, and he's, um, <laughs> uh, he's marked for so he's gonna attack. Yes. So he rolls a claw. I rolled a, I rolled an eight, so the claws just flash across your arm. Yes. Uh, okay, and then the other, uh, the other one. Okay. Um, so he rolls a claw. Flashes out his claws. He can move diagonally. He gets a 19. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, so you want to use your roll? Do it. How dare you? You stinky man. Yes, yes. Stinky, stinky man does not hurt you with his stinky man claws. All right, Rin, it is your turn. Hang on one second before you do that. Well, I want to check a rule. Okay. If you are holding an action, do you use your reaction? Yes. So you cannot also oh, use yeah. your reaction to yeah. So so Julie, you do get hit by that one. Um, you keep Rin, keep your keep your thing. Uh, yeah. Your your, your stuff by. Um, but yeah, Jewel, go ahead and uh, make a. Um, or do you want to use your your roll? I or your can't. Doctor? That's my reaction. Right, that's your reaction too. That's the one drawback to holding your action. Um, yep. Okay, so you take ten slashing damage, and uh. you need to make a con save. Ten damage, make a con save. Got this. Come on. Thought I put the damage in. Ooh, that's oh. it. All right, you are paralyzed oh, by the gas. The gas claws sink into your flesh. Freezing you in place. Like you're at the worst dentist ever. Okay. Um, no. Sorry. Now now Rin. Now you can now you can go. Uh, okay. I I feel like I might be something a little more potent. Uh, I don't have anything a little more potent, so let's just go with that roll that I made already. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have, uh, which, so this is the one that everybody's already been pummeling on? That's the yeah, the, the one that's, like, probably, oh. maybe supposed dead, I don't know. Wisdom save. Here we go. He gets a two. Yay! He is viciously mocked to death. Yes! To death, More bro. damage. To death. Uh, <sighs> yeah, his self-esteem cannot hold, and the gas... You worse than you smell, and you smell awful. Staggers back against the wall, looks at you like, how dare you, and then dies. Just dead drops onto the floor. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and then do you want to move, or do you have anything you want to do with your bonus action? Not made for nope, the that's wilderness. it. I need okay. taverns and big cities. You can move here as you move these things. And then you kill. By the time I'm done with you, yeah, you not only love the wilderness, but you'll using. be willing to make love yeah, in the wilderness. Okay. Sorry, Dorian. So, uh, eight, it is your turn. Yes, I've begun my turn within five feet of one. I believe you said. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it is within five. You start your turn. Make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, is it against poison? Mm, yes, or be poisoned. Okay, because more fortune savings counts for that. It's a pretty easy save. Yeah, you're fine. 27. Yeah, no problem. Okay, you are immune to the stink of the gas for 24 hours. Sweet. Now um, you may take your turn. 
I can't move somewhere that I can block them from getting to Jewel now. Uh, well, I've just got to turn to the one that I can reach in. Just yeah. throw Jewel out of the way. Just, like, <laughs> shove her down the hall. Yeah, can we shoot Bash Jewel? Yes. No. She can't. She'll automatically fail the save and just get knocked on her ass. <laughs> it would be able to the diagonal. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Um, alright. I will stab the... Ghost above us. Okay. Um, oh yeah, no problem. Alright, one Super stabbing. Okay. Two stabbing. Mm -hmm. uh, I should have said mark on the last one and mark on this one. Okay. Uh, another 11 damage. And... I think I might as well knock it on. Might as well shield bash him. Okay. Might as well. Uh, the number to be. Oh, yeah, he's no problem. I got a nine. Alright. So this one runs up, it slashes Jewel. As Jewel becomes paralyzed, uh, you lay into it, stabbing it twice, and then throwing it to the floor with your shield. Okay. Let me just this looks like that cat yeah. when you throw the piece of cheese on its face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frozen. Yeah. That's it for me. I, okay. I forgot that the second one was a bonus and I wasted it on this. Oh no! Jeez, so Jewel, you are paralyzed, which means you can't do anything. Um, and at the end of your turn, you get to make another saving throw against that. Conte? Yeah. yeah. You mm. remain paralyzed. <laughs> Better! Better yeah. than the last one. Okay, Nakaria, it is your turn. Um... These are like the best undead you've ever seen. They are just like... Slavering, stinking, killing machines. I oh, also, sorry, them. Julie, you gotta make another con save against poison. Take the stink. I don't think I'm gonna start that with like two. I do it. Okay, you're immune to the stink. Oh, that'd be the worst. Good. While I'm paralyzed, oh. at least my oh. nose is not. Oh, enough. God, you're paralyzed? You're just like. Oh, 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 oh God, I can't move. I can't, I can't close my nostrils. Someone stick your fingers in there. Yeah, but this you're fine. Like at a concert, and someone's like raving next to you. <laughs> you can't move. You're like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like being oh, stuck no. in a convention crowd. Um, Makaria, it is. Uh, it is your turn. I wish now that I would have started moving my flaming skull when we had. Yeah. But I didn't realize that it was going to take three turns to start that. So mm -hmm. I'll just do that now because okay. otherwise it's probably going to be dissipated. I don't remember how long it takes. Like six hundred turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, anyway, um, and then I think I'm going to step back a little bit because I can see the fucking stench waves from here. <laughs> They're little stink lines coming off of them. And I'm going to actually do something useful. Two more shards Ooh, and I can like, unlock the final door on bless. that path. Um, it's weird. Uh, um... <laughs> It's a weird thing to do, um, but I see Jewel like standing stock still. The same thing that happened to me, and I remember how like shitty it was. Um, oh, and so I'm gonna. Uh, I think I can do three up to three creatures. So I'll bless Jewel and um, I'll bless uh, Eight and myself because I'm selfish. Um, and. Uh, it's basically like, it's like the floating skull, like, l over your face. It just, like, fades in. You have the blessing of Merkle. It's a good thing? Looking to see if there's any cool bless status indicators. You know? Um, so, when you make a saving throw, you can roll an extra d4. And, um, that's my turn because I use my bonus action to move the skull. Okay, so, let's see. I will use... Oh, it's a skill up right here. Who else gets blessed? Eight and myself. Eight, you and and who? Jewel? Yeah, Jewel. Okay. Bloop. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Alright. Feels so good. I feel You got a blue cloud done. flapping around you. Uh, okay. All right, Makaria, good. And Bless lasts for ten, ten rounds? Uh, it's... Uh, ten minutes, so yes. Ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, yeah. Um, also, Spiritual Weapon is not a 
that that's easy. Okay, uh, good. So, um, on the floor, this is good boy, uh, he's gonna get up. Uh, he's marked, so he's gonna... Oh, actually, Spiritual Weapon is only a minute, so it's probably gone. No! I only just put 10 rounds. Okay. Since he's first castle. Let's give another, let's give another, like, 50. Okay. But it's, yeah, I, mean, I don't remember what one was the last time. It feels like it was a long time ago, but it wasn't even at the beginning of the fight. He definitely was probably. That's true. Yeah, we'll give it, we'll give it, like, two more. Uh, okay, alright, so. I also do where you should do in two rounds. That's okay. No. We can die. Um, the gas, uh, gas oven is gonna go after, uh, go after eight. So here come, here come Claw. Okay. Rawr! Claw attack. I get a 14, so it misses. Uh, the other one comes moving up. I'm gonna move this dead guy. Okay, so it's a horse. Uh, right? And that one attacks Jewel. And I think it yeah. uh, auto hits. She's paralyzed. So I yeah. don't know if it auto hits, but it auto crits if it hits. Nested conditions. Uh, attacks have advantage, and if it hits, it's an automatic crit. Okay. All right. So here goes. With advantage. Welcome to die. Uh, it gets a nine. It's a nine. Your armor. Ah! Your armor oh, deflects the blow. You are an immobile target. Because I was also going to say, I think technically I still can use uncanny dodge? Uh, no, uncanny dodge is a reaction. Oh, yeah, you can, you can. So he comes up and just, ha ha, and flashes your armor. Hooray. Okay. Um, Rin, it is your turn. Man, these guys are champs, aren't they? Um, alright, let's see. Let's see here. What is, what is the operative method? Uh, maybe let's break out the Dissonant Whispers. I haven't done that in a while. Um, Dissonant Whispers, uh, the, the, this one. Okay, the marked one or the, the other yeah, one? The marked one. Okay, do it. I will always save it. Please do. Okay, here we go. Wisdom of the Crayfish. Survey says, he <laughs> gets an 8. Oh, man. So it takes 11 psychic damage and must immediately move as far as it can away, provoking attack of opportunity. Alright, go. Uh -huh. Attack of opportunity on that boy. Do it. He flees into the corridor, <laughs> snarling and running away on his Todd McFarlane arms. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You use the blessing of Merkel. Makes you even better at making a guess. He doesn't. He doesn't Freedom get very far. He just defeated. dies. You stab him yeah, right in the neck. Yeah. And he. He's suddenly oh, overwhelmed oh, with some you. kind of weird Perhaps fear the and then we gets stabbed by Dave. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey. Lord, <laughs> Dave just appears. Say, say, him. Say, <laughs> Listen, when I cast spiritual guardians, it's all Dave's. Uh, okay. Anything else, man? Simple people. Most have lost family. I'm good. That's good. All right. Eight. It is we your turn. You just use your okay. reaction to murder this dude. I'll be Best here. Best way, uh, I stab this one in front of me. Okay. This is the kind of combat so, I'm like. So I gain agent because of With, you know, my actions here. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, 15 hits. Uh, 15 definitely hits, yeah. Okay, him and mark him. Uh, okay. Okay. 13 points damage. Oof. All right, mark. Again. I don't Once think he's I cast the guards, so hang a solid hard left, yes. Okay. Pretty close, pretty close. So, just lightning quick stabs, and uh, you are, yeah, you're perforating this dude. Uh, um, as my bonus action, I'm gonna have second wind, because okay. I'm gonna pass yeah, well. call just in case. You don't want me to crit and take you out. Okay. Uh, Jewel, it is your turn. You get to add a d4. To what? Roll it. Saving throw. Oh, sorry, I couldn't my thing. Oh, I wasn't. Oof. Nine. Good. Good. Uh, that's a point. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the stone of good luck for one, and then you hold yeah. a three on the bless. Still not not enough. You are still paralyzed. Disappointing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, did it not account for that? No. <laughs> Same, right. though. I'm also disappointed. Um, I will attempt to bring my soul closer. Okay. It can get to there. That one. There. Or there, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and then I will use my action. They're resistant to necrotic, yeah. Um, gosh, I'm just I'm running out of spells here, man. Uh, this one should be good. Huh? We should be good if you roll decently. I think it's pretty low. 
Okay, well, I'll just, I'll, even though it's resistant, I'll still pull the dead on it. Oh boy! Oh, oh. Two elevens. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big boy. Okay, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. I love my void dice. It's burning so much. All right, so necrotic damage. Uh, wisdom save. Here we go. DC fifteen. I got a an eight. Not enough. Twenty two uh, necrotic and half is eleven. Yeah, eleven. He had nine hit points left. Toast. Whee! The gas uh, heeds the call of Merkel's iron bell and it calls his spirit back, and the mm. gas body just falls to the floor. The animating magic spin. Cool. And that's it. All of the things that are threatening to kill you, they're dead. They've perished. They've perished. Do I still have to save? Uh, I mean, te technically, yes, but there's no risk. So, like, for funsies, let's see how long it takes you. Let's Every one of these is six it. seconds. There it is. Oh, gosh. Okay, you're fine. Gonna... You're back. <laughs> one more. <laughs> yeah, another wow, six seconds. I did not do well when I can't save. I gotta um, say, even being completely bodily paralyzed for six full seconds would freak me right the fuck terrifying. out. It would be the worst, especially given that something did it by slashing you with its horrible claws. No, thank you. Oof. Speaking of horrible claws, I would like to examine these wonderful undead creatures. Okay. Uh, they are as I described them. Uh, you can make a religion check, if you'd like. You know, oh, yeah. Things, like, knowing things about undead. Um, they're, they are they're, as you they're, describe. Yeah, they're super ghouls. You don't know much more about that. Let me see if she... <laughs> Uh, these, these ghasts, um, I have to assume that they were also made by Transia, so they probably have some kind of, like, copper wiring and bits of metal in them. I mean, considering that she hated everyone that was working in the area that she was, yeah. I don't think she would let them, anyone else this close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh... So, uh, the spiritual weapon goes away. Yeah. The bless also. <laughs> Eventually, uh, yeah, it's only a minute. Yeah, so. the blessings of Merkel. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and things, things are, for a time, quiet. Well. What will you do? Unpleasantness yeah. after unpleasantness. Now that the um, room is, now that the room is clear, we should check for... The one that had a door for absolutely no reason? Yeah, yeah. that one. Or the one that was just copper-plated floor and a flush column. I think that the door that these ghasts were in is the most likely to have something interesting. There was a shoot. I don't really... I know Adam said a shoot, but I don't really know like, what There was, was a shoot there, but I would also like to... You know, well, I mean, you guys are shoot. kind of crowding, like but I would like later. to... Well, so, well, I think we'll move into this room, because Yeah, right you want to go and room. scope scope that room where the gas came from? Alright, the room stinks. Stinks to high heaven, of course, because that's where ghasts were. There's a narrow area that opens up into another room, and this room appears to be... Uh, the remnants of like a mining operation. Pickaxes and hammers litter the floor, as do the gnawed bones, torn black robes, and rubber boots of what looks like, uh... I mean, you can make a medicine check when you see the corpse. It's a corpse? Yeah, it's, 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 there's a corpse. The corpse is wearing rubber boots, torn black robes, and it's, and it's been, like, its bones have been picked with blood. As soon as I see a horse that doesn't look like it's an undead thing, I'm gonna rush over to it. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. It's on the ground. Okay, well, I go over to it. I'll make a medicine check first to see if it formerly was an undead thing. 18? Um, okay, so I will tell you this. It is the bones of a, uh, half-elf. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how you know that, but you do. You have the medical skill. Uh, got weird cartilage bone here. He's got the fancy elf bones. Um, and it's missing its head, which is funny that I put a skull here. There's no head. Damn it. It is. Skull in absentia. It doesn't have a head. How can you ask something that doesn't have a head? Um, you notice... You notice as we're, as we're examining it. Many of us uh, you can still, you can still do it. So, so as you're examining the corpse, you notice also uh, it is laying on a torn uh, scrap of paper. I will 
try and grab the scrap of paper. I guess that even if it doesn't have a head, I could still make it a skelly boy. It just, I mean, it doesn't need to look like it doesn't actually have it. Doesn't it doesn't use eyes, yeah. Except that it does, like, it doesn't have dark vision, or it doesn't have, like, a tremor vision or whatever. Like, it needs to be able to What do you want me to do about it? It doesn't need eyeballs to see? It doesn't say anything it's about... Taking, it's taking a trip on the event horizon. Um, okay, so... Perhaps the the body, uh, uh, yeah, you want to pick up the scrap of paper, and like the other scraps, it begins it. to speak. Ugh. It says, day ten, with lightning and copper wires, I created a pack of ghouls. Goodbye. Hal was not impressed. He says I'm not ready for Dewey Omer Corps and its arcane secrets. Well, I'll show him. His flesh golem has given me an idea for a trap more devious than any Hal could devise. Lightning! Is there anything it can't do? I hate this woman. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you already killed her. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, on a completely different note, like on what I'm listening to, I, like it's a good thing they just killed her. Jewel goes like, and looks to the other side of the room. Yeah. Um, okay. Buddy, um, I have a question. Yes. She's an electro necromancer. She's she an electro. She's head. an electromancer. <laughs> she's reading. Wait, she's reading everybody? the instructions. She's reading the instructions of the own of her own spell, and she's like, "All right, there's ten steps here. I've done the first eight. Step nine: cut off the head. All right. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she was looking for the head of Vecna. So, um, in this other room, Jewel. Uh, you see that the stonework here is not, um, it's not as refined as elsewhere. Uh, the walls are quite rough. Um, there are wooden joists, like, holding the ceiling up. And, uh, over in the corner, uh, leading off around the corner, there is, uh, an so, exposed bit of stonework with a thick vein so of copper ore running through. It's interesting, I'll give you that. An archdemon attacking me as a first. I think Five she was right in here. The day that would make sense. With the <laughs> amount of copper she would need in the other room. Do we want to see where that chute leads, or do we want to continue through down here? Do you think that this body is hers? It seems probable. I could ask. After we just killed her. As a question. Yes. Um, would you rule as the DM that I could bring back a headless skeleton. Yeah, sure. I say to Rin, well, you know, I don't really care, and then I cast Animate Dead. <laughs> okay. All right. I shrug, assuming you wouldn't care because you suck. And then... <laughs> okay. You and so right I will now have a skelly, even if I don't have Okay, so this, this skeleton has no weapons. <laughs> this skeleton has no weapons, oh, no. Uh, no bow, no sword. Cause... Where did we, where did I lose my other one? A while ago, right? It is a weaponless skeleton, but you have one. And it has no head. Uh, so and the skeleton sta stands with up. their, like, claws, right? The, the skeleton yeah. stands up and does one of these. Like, looking for its head. And then shrugs. Oh dear, you don't have one of those anymore. Don't yeah. worry about it. All of its bones are, like, chewed on. There's, like, little chips in it and, like, scrap scrapes on all the bones. And it's so just got this kind of hanging. And it's walking around in, like, rubber galoshes. Is this, uh, is there a, a, a pickaxe around here? Uh, yeah, there's a pickaxe, but it's like an improvised weapon. Right? I mean, it's better than no weapon. Okay, yeah, you want to give, you want to give the skeleton a pickaxe? Yeah, I look around and I'm just like, here, hold this. Okay, <laughs> fine. Hey, what? Okay, I almost completed this area. Well, it would be valuable to have something it could attack with. I'm gonna go to the, co I'm go to the copper room while this conversation. Yeah, Jewel also <laughs> like oh, wait. goes for right. the copper vein one. Eight. Yeah. What are you giving the skeleton? Giving him a short sword, so he's a normal skeleton. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what if I go? Oh wait, we'll just do this. Um, thing. when I lost my, where did I lose my previous skeleton? It was in the room over, uh, like Calabash's room, right? I don't know. I mean, yes. I feel yeah. like it was. I just, but I want to go back. I we have so many the... arrows. I, I would, yeah, I want to go back. Yeah, it's back and... there. It's outside Calabash's room. I want to go back and get. Okay, we'll, we'll do that in a second. So, oh, yeah. who who was going back into the uh, into the room? Jewel and... Jewel and Rin, I think. Okay. All right, so the two of you head back in there. Uh, it's, it's as I described it. Uh, it's a big metal room. There's a decomposing flesh golem on the floor. One of the panels is all warped now from heat. Uh, and in the back corner, there are chunks of skull laying on the yeah, floor there's sizzling. Nothing like, there's no, like, desks or... No, this isn't a workshop. This is, like, a uh, test room, like a test lab. Yeah. 
Uh, there is a uh, there's a door uh, over in the corner. Yeah, oh, that room. Right. door. Yeah, and the door has uh, the door has like a some kind of conduit like leading to it from under the under the floor. Another passage this way. I call back. Yeah, and then there's the chute oh. down here. Uh, yeah, just a moment. Um, hmm, I turn around. Uh, skeleton, come with me. Can I? Do I have control over the skeleton? Uh, you should, but don't don't walk all the way over there and all the way back. What is the plan? You want to go get the skeleton, the bow? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Let's see if it's been tampered with. Yeah, it's that when you when you go back, uh, the skeleton, uh, many of its bones are missing. Okay. Um, many of its bones are missing, uh, and uh, on the wall, something is written in goblin, uh, in in a foul brown substance. Gross. Alright, well then my Philly has a short sword at least. Mm -hmm. Not nothing. A head, your headless skeleton in robe. If it makes you feel better, you can imagine the goblins back in the market haggling over, mm -hmm. the, over the bones. It's animated by oh, my wow. will. It doesn't need a will yeah, of wow. arms or eyes of its own. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, alright. Um, and then, y yes, the goblins in the market totally took it. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, in here, there is a, another way out, right, through this way. And then, as, as you can tell, there's the door over here. There was electrified on the other side. Uh, this, this chute here, uh, descends slightly. Let me, let me get the description. So, it is a foot, five foot wide, five foot high chute in the corner, and it curves downward. Uh, it descends as far as you can see. Looks like it goes about 20 feet, and then out into another room. All right. Well, it's time for you to prove your worth. Go ahead. I tell the skeleton to, like, you know, sit down and slide down the chute. Okay. All right. Doesn't have a head, so it should be fairly short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the skeleton gets to, like, basically just, like, one, two, and then jumps and, like, it like clatters down to the bottom <laughs> and it gets up and turns around. Like... I can still... No, I can't really see it. Yeah, I can kind of see it. Is it being attacked? Right. Defend yourself. <laughs> okay. I'll I think it's fine. What's happening? So you, you know, hold on. Before you do that, you get there. Uh, you hear uh, several like screaming sounds. You hear a bunch of different voices, all kind of like, like shouting at once, uh, shouting nonsense. Uh, and then, hang on, I gotta make some rolls uh, against this guy. What's this guy's armor class? Uh, like, 13? This is like, uh, 13. Okay. I could say defend yourself. Uh, 13? Okay, yeah, so the skeleton, you hear clattering as the skeleton, like, tries to fight off, there's, like, it draws the sword, and it, it's in the middle of a fight with something. Uh, well, there's something down there, so be prepared. Uh, perhaps we should... Okay, well, hang, hang on. At least not um, one, not. Jewel, as you are climbing in, you hear... This this insane rambling of many voices. Um, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, so your uh, your head starts oh, to I, spin. I don't have one. Your head starts to spin at the sound of it, like like ranting, speaking in tongues, and, and you manage to like get it out of your head. Uh, this, this awful noise, but you can still hear it. It's just like bouncing around the inside of your brain. Well, there's something really bad down there. Um, um, Blue Jay, do you want to make an attack with that skeleton? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, 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 like. Uh, 20. That's good. Okay. Nice. Boom. Skelly boy. Crew is work. Okay, so the skeleton. I think attacking the skeleton. Uh, cool. You can still do it if you want to do it. You want to fall back with quick. Uh, she doesn't feel so hot, so she's gonna fall back. Skeleton, it can die. Uh, she's gonna back up, like, mopes out of the tunnel. There was a thing, and it tried to do a thing in my head. I, I don't know, I can see it, but, um... You, I mean, you can hear it, but you're, you're at a distance, so you can hear this, like, like, rambling, shrieking, like, a cacophony of voices. Um, but I feel like it just sort of looks at the group with, like, the draggle of clothing and, like, probably blood and, and cuts on the face. I don't think this is <laughs> as um. exciting as it might be. Well, we don't really have time for a rest. 
So either embrace your death or leave the dungeon off. So eight and Rin, is there anything that you would like to do before just uh, whatever it's called? Uh, I'm, I'm just like, uh, I don't think we're going to <sighs> okay, so um, I'm gonna try to make a uh, maybe skeleton attack. Okay. Uh, a twenty-two for four. Good skeleton. Uh, I get a sixteen. Okay. That's a hit. Okay. The skeleton is here. Can you get a strength save? Strength save for the skeleton. Uh, it gets. A okay, it takes 18 damage. <laughs> so, yeah, so you feel the connection to it break, and um, you hear it down below this like, uh, rambling, and then the sound of bone snapping, the cracking like the stone. Uh, what they call it, you know? But you hear, yeah, your ribs being crushed. Um, Jewel, you're uh, you're oh. actually still within range, so make another um, make another wisdom save. But you fall back, and you're like, there's something down there, and you can still hear it. Like, Gurgling in your mind. Okay. Morning. Move. Get, get out of there. <laughs> I hear the trumping and the, I feel the like life that I infused it with like go away. And I'm like, another letter mentioned. We'll go Samson. back later. <laughs> <Take this one. laughs> I mean, it had a great idea, and she just goes like down this hallway and then back towards. Like, the, We're gonna get the why don't we see me. what was at the other end of that copper vein? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. You said there was something in the end of this room. After destroying, after destroying the skeleton, uh, the uh, the creature on the other side uh, becomes becomes quiet. Uh, it slowly like you just hear like the okay. The burbling. Well, if I had a grenade, I'd throw it down there, but I don't. <laughs> Frag out. <laughs> Definitely the garbage chute and the OTO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I would. That's what I would. Say. So you said that there was more down here, Jules? Yeah, Jules saw the the copper vein. Yeah, the the other half of the room that we were in has uh, something that goes around the corner. So What's going on over there? I didn't realize that there was more. I thought the copper vein was like the end of it. I mean, I didn't see how far around the corner it goes. Yeah. So if you, Macari, if you want to go peek around the corner. Uh, um, I'm going to wait for the sneaky sneak to peek around the corner. Okay. All right. me. Once you get to look around that corner, you see the vein continues. Uh, they look like they were just carving out this tunnel to follow it, and then the hall ends with rubble. Okay. Well, that was anticlimactic, that's true. Okay. Well then, what else do we have to do? Oh, I went in the wall. I went, oh, I zoomed out too far. Okay. Sorry. Get out of the wall! Hey! Oh, I'm moving you. Stop. Stop moving. I'm stopping. I stop. There you go. You're back in the hallway. Okay, so <laughs> we know there's the goblin market. I think there was a there down was... way that we didn't go. There's a north way we didn't go, is what it is, from the pump room. So oh, the... right. 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 Okay, let, me uh, just make, let me just make sure there's anything else uh, in here. There's a story here, and I don't know what it's it is. It's now a time for a break. You can check on minutes. a break. Nope, there's nothing else there. Okay. Um, well, let's, I guess, go back then? Yeah, yeah. we can head back to the pump room, and then... Okay. Yeah, yeah that I sounds good. that's the other way, unless we go down the street. Yeah, if the plan is to go to the pump room, we go to the northwest corner. Uh, mm -hmm. that is... So let's, uh, let's have you, uh, navigate your way there, and, uh, you will... Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back to the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Welcome. Come on in. It's crazy in here. So, back to the pump room, yeah? Uh-huh. All right. Uh -huh. So, uh, a quick trip through the pump room. Uh, you can see that some some dirty should. goblin footprints uh, on the ground. It looks like the goblins use this pump room to, like, 
get water. Like, they actually use it. There's some, like, water sloshed on the floor. Um, and some, like, muddy back and forth. Uh, and in the room itself, as you said before, there is a, a basin and... In the uh, northwest section, we are tested. There is a door. Uh, this is a standard door, much like any other. Uh, 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 sure. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Seventeen on the investigate. All right. Something is blocking this door on the other side. Uh, not so much you couldn't push it, but when you push the door, uh, you can feel a weight leaning up against it on the other side. Jewel, like, turns to eight, and, like, eight. Help. There's something heavy on the other side. Okay. Um, alright, I put away my javelin for, for a second. Um, I guess it's in the bag. But why did I have this before? I don't know. It's a great question. I take out the portable ram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can have advantage in your smashing the door down check. Jill yeah, sees that she was like about to help and is just like, you got this. Yeah, she eight literally just up. eight literally just takes out a log with handles on it and a big metal cap on the end. What's one of those fucking plot things? Oh, where? where? <laughs> this bag. Bag of holding. I had it before I had the bag of holding as well, so I guess it was just on my back somewhere. Oh, yeah. Hanging by a rope. Do you remember that part in Labyrinth where there are those little goblin creatures that have like their whole like house on the back? <laughs> like, that's, that's what I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so sorry, it's uh, is it an athletics? It will be an athletics check. Yeah. How do we do? No problem. Alright, you blast the door down. So, uh, if you would like to take a look in the room, uh, you are welcome to, to go scope it out. Um, but inside this inside this room, uh, you can see... Yeah, you can see a, a familiar face, uh, at least to, to Rand. Now, in this, uh, in this chamber, you can see uh, a figure. It has its back to you. And it is wearing a uh, dark gray cloak hanging over its shoulders. Dozens of eyes adorn the back of the cloak. Uh, and uh, you can see that it is looming, this figure is looming over a stone table covered with dusty alchemical equipment and vials of various solid and liquid... Perfectly fine, comma. I was actually about to text you about the pressure being low. Comma. So it timed out well. So it timed out well. Period. Doesn't look like the check is dropping in early. This week, period. So, comma. It should be dropping in around midnight tonight. So, comma, it looks like I will have it on the 7th, like I thought. If it drops in any time before that, comma, 
I'll zip over to the ATM and pick up what I can. tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Substances. Uh, when you me? when you smash the door open, uh, the, uh, the 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 creature spins, and you realize that the the eyes on its cloak uh, are just cloth, and they're painted to look like eyes. They've been sewn on. They're not actual eyes. And in fact, as it turns around, you see that the thing has a wooden head. And a, like a ball joint, and then a wooden body covered in ratty clay clothes. The the wooden head has a, 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 a section of like chin cut out, uh, and has been cra uh, carved to look like it has a beard and big like wooden eyebrows. And then there's like a wig stuck on the side of it that's kind of falling off a little bit. A ratty gray wig, and it turns around and kind of like, flops and like clatters a little bit and like lifts its arms up. And uh, its mouth opens and closes like a character from fucking Thunderbirds. Like, it, it talks like this, like... <laughs> uh, and it, it says, uh, it turns around and says, Terrible and painful magical death! Fireballs and lightning bolts! Be gone! And it points at you. What do you do? I'm vaguely offended. I'll be on this. <laughs> 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 Oof. <laughs> uh, Jewel like holds her weapons and is just like, I think she'll move further into the room so that the the others can can file in if they would like the talker. And she's just like, and it's just, it's just, point, it's just pointing at you with a, a wooden finger. I've like, never right, met right now. Fireballs or but later. Uh, it's fireballs, clouds of poison, horrible death. I've never met a puppet that could cast spells, but I suppose that's the first time for I'm everything. Julie like, looks back at Rin. Yeah, you can see there's a door on the other side. Uh, and once once it, it's clear that you're not here to we just have like to stop this mate. interrupt its work, uh, the Calaster, the, the uh, uh I have to, I have to like not describe it in a facial expression. So it's only facial expression. So it, uh, it goes, I will. Yeah, so it, it, uh, it just like flaps its wooden mouth at you, uh, and says, back to work, back to work. And it turns around and it picks up an empty, uh, vial, it picks up another empty vial and just does this. I was gonna say, like, can I see what it's doing? And, like, but it holds it up and, like, shakes nothing. the empty vial and then puts it down and picks up another one and, like, starts stirring the vial and it's like, hey, potions and poultices, villainous, villainous traps. Ooh, like, quietly creeps up to it and just sort of, like, looks at what's on the table or gets as close yeah, as she can. Yeah, yeah, make an arcana check. <laughs> yeah, right. Your favorite. 13? 13 is not bad. All right. Better lucky than good. Um, you you don't like most of the vials are empty. Some of them are broken. Like it picks one up, and the bottom is broken <sighs> off, and it pretends to pour something in, and it looks and it's like ah yes, a little of this, a little of that. Hmm, devilish. And, and it seems to be like pretending to mix <laughs> al alchemy. Now the room the room has kind of like an alchemy like there's a smell to it, a chemical smell to the room, but. This thing is just, this puppet is just... Is there anything else in the room? No. no. I don't know that we need to interrupt the thing. Okay. Uh, mm, I need to cool. go. Yeah, she's going to go look at the other door. So don't bring that up until... Uh, so the, the door... Maybe something in its... You notice this. So uh, piled up on this side and piled up on the side that you came in, uh, all, any other furniture in the room besides this stone table has been jammed into a pile. Uh, you, you smashed through it on one side, but it's still piled up on this side too. Hmm. Oh. 
Jewel, Jewel like sees you make the little like like steely fingers. Uh, so she she scuttles back slightly and pats down the puppet. You want to make a slight hand. You don't. I assume you don't want the puppet to notice that you're feeling. I it would up. prefer the puppet okay. not notice right. that I am flipping some hands into his yeah. with a seventeen. Um. It does not have anything uh, on it. Its robes don't even have pockets. Want me to um, handle and, that? And it's all moth-eaten, and the wig smells bad. And actually, it smells like something like acerbic, uh, like kerosene or something. That kind of smell, like, when you get close to it. She kind of gives Makari, like, a... To light it on fire. Yeah, and then the, um, the puppet, like, nudges you out of the way, and it's like, Out of the way! Out of the way! And kind of pushes you back away from the table. Just start moving stuff by the door. I also Not go back to the tiger. puppet. Um, and I, I think I have a flint in my pack uh -huh. for lighting torches. Why? Why? I have a tinderbox. <laughs> yeah. Stop it right now. Stop. Bad behavior. So you see, Macaria skulks towards. That. I mean, if everybody wants to move to the back of the room. Yeah, I guess I don't see you. Isn't going to help you. Well, actually, I'll light a torch, because the torch okay. I can hold at arm's length. So you light a torch, yeah. And the, pu the puppet I... is just, like, going about its business. And then I'm just, like, very slowly. Why? <laughs> Why? Because it smells like kerosene. Okay. Okay. Everybody's just like backing away, like, okay, Macaria. I mean, I tried my my. What are you doing? Why? Uh huh. But, you know. I light it on fire. Okay. Mm. All right. How? What do you do? Like, describe. I touch like. a torch to its stupid wig. Okay. Uh, its wig bursts into flame, and it's like with its mouth flapping. It's like ah ah, and, like starts trying to pat the the wig out, and like runs around the room screaming like ah. ah try to put out the wig and then it explodes <laughs> um so the the shirt like its shirt lights on fire it's clothes lights on fire it's like ah! and then <laughs> blows up uh it blows up uh Makaria, can you make a dexterity save yeah this is how you die and it was just... not paying attention and just yeah. screaming no Okay, so you take four damage, Macaria. Okay. Chunks of puppet like hit you. So boom! It blows up Ow. in like slow mo. And if this were a TV show, it would be like we would have made a miniature and stuck a firework in it and blew it up in slow mo. And it just blows up chunks of, of debris, fiber. Its, Ow. its Ow. head Ow. still burning and like melting rolls to your feet and it looks up at you with its same blank face, all the paint peeling, uh, and it says, Ah! Now who will find the cure to filth fever? And then it goes silent and dies. Find the cure to what? Filth fever. Filth fever. Filth fever. All right. If you want to make a medicine check, I can tell you more about filth sure. fever. Sure. I, 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 I'm like patting my clothes, trying to stop being on fire, also laughing at the same time. <laughs> you asshole. And then I get a 14 on medicine, medicine check. So filth fever, uh, it, it was at one point a fairly uh, prodigious disease. You you would get it from from getting bit by rats or any okay. number of other strange creatures. But uh, in yeah, recent times, uh, it has you long fallen anything, into into like it's it's basically gone away already. Like there's vaccines for it and stuff. You don't you don't see filth fever in the world very often. I'm sorry, um, but it used to cause uh, fever and slowness of movement. But not, I wonder how not, long this thing's so been much down easier. here. How long has this thing's been down here? I don't know, like an addition. Maybe well, addition I mean, like, half. because it thinks that it's curing filth fever, or at least that's right. the, like, text that it's been given, and that's pretty much not a thing anymore. Yeah. Good, you blew up the whole after, but... That dead. makes me feel better about losing all of my skeletons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. I, t I toss the torch on the floor. <laughs> Okay. Well, that <laughs> happened. I think I have uh, well, eight torches left. Jewel sure. continues to move things. Okay. Yeah, you can clear the debris real easy from this door. That's no problem. That was the most entertaining thing that's happened to me since we got down here. Yeah. Okay. So the door is clear of uh, of debris. Uh, Jewel opens it. Okay. There's a hallway beyond. Uh, the hallway extends... Uh, north, uh, about, I don't know, 15 feet, uh, 20 feet, and then goes, 
into the hallway. Yeah, it goes east from there. All right, well, um, I guess we'll see if my car is going to set anything else on fire. <laughs> I mean, if it smells right like it's soaked the in kerosene, maybe I will. Uh, if you didn't have inspiration before, Makari, you can take it now. That yes. Very in character. Um, okay. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, so the hallway continues, and then there are two branches uh, to the north, one that terminates quickly in a door, uh, the other that is a, uh, a slightly longer hallway. Door or hallway? Yeah. Um, well, you're very good with doors. I like clearing the doors. I'm to think. That way things don't sneak up on us. Great. Boy. I'll be right very, here. Very true. Uh, just investigate this lovely door. Okay. Make sure it's not all trapified. 21. Okay. Uh, the door, this door seems to uh, see more irregular use uh, hmm. than, than some of the others you've seen. There's a Regular like, or irregular? Regular. So like people okay. use it more often. There's uh, scrapes on the floor. Um, there's like muck. You know, you know when you like... You don't like clean the handle or the space around a handle of a door, and it just gets like just handprint like dirt on it. Mm -hmm. There's that kind of gross. semicircle. Gross, yeah. yeah, so you see that. There's like a semicircle of not like clear muck, but discoloration on the door uh, that, that indicates to you that it, it's been used quite regularly. Flora. Um, you can also smell that kind of like gross, decaying flesh, like dead body smell coming from the other, the other side. Um, of the door. There might be more undead things on the other side. Or dead things. Let's see what's there. Thank you. Right, you're crack the door. Yep. All right. You the room right. beyond is, is strewn by with by rotten supplies, and in the center, room. the remains of a fire pit. Uh, in the corner, you see three dead bugbears. Oh, very, very that. dead bugbears. Um, and an intellect devourer corpse. Little brain uh, that looks like it's been cloven with a sword. Um, they've been meaningfully like they've been shoved into the corner, but there are signs of battle in the room. Damaged furniture. Um, there's a like a broken arrow or two like against one wall uh, lying on the floor. Uh, it's clear there was a fight here. Um, the room itself, I think, has uh, painted on the wall in purple the uh, symbol of the Xanathar Guild, uh, a circle with the lines off of it. I need to be going. Uh, Good day and, then. Uh, and then Ooh, some, more corpses. Dead bugbears. <laughs> okay. So all that's left here are Not those creatures yes. again. These ones look like and they have one murder been mystery. dealt with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll actually save that for another time. Let's go ahead and head back <laughs> to Skyhold. I look at the I like look at the corpses. I like run up towards the corpses, like basically with my hand out and like ready to re like animate one of them. And then I look back to myself and also the party. Perhaps I should wait. Ugh. I wish I had more magic. Do you think there's a way to take magic from other people? I look at Rin. No. Why are you asking me? Because you're the only other one of us that uses magic? Well, I can't give you my magic. That's not how magic works. I was just wondering if you, you or your master knew anything about... First of all, let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about the specifics, the difference between my magic and your magic. The largest part of that difference being that yours comes from some being that has given you, I don't know why you, because... Would you <laughs> guess? Mr. Help me, then would give you that kind of power. But here we are, gives you that power. Whereas I have studied and learned and play this instrument perfectly to do the things that I do. They are very different and I cannot give you any. <laughs> yes, well, I have faith, Rin. How many spells did you say you had left at the moment? Um, this, I have quite a few. Uh, uh, we'll see how your faith holds up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Enough to kill you, certainly. Not that I would. I vicious mockery her. Alright, do it. Make your make your wisdom save, Makaria. Okay. Yes. It was abandoned when 
The trunks to kill Macario. Name this place Skyhold. <laughs> that fail. All right. So Macario, it hurts. The original it hurts you for five seconds damage. Like deep down inside. I had tons of army time no, once we defeated in the vicinity five nothing. ages ago. Ow. But the records. A god that is gone forever. You're Custom. hurting my feelings. You have disadvantage in your next attack roll. Also, your feelings are hurt. My Rin, feelings Rin, are so take, hurt. Take, 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 uh, take a break. Like actually, actually hurt though. Yeah. No one's ever hurt my feelings like yeah, that. Yeah. Sometimes it takes magic to get through a person. Yeah, just really. You're uh, a piece of shit, and I use a spell to make you listen <laughs> to. Reinforce that. <laughs> <laughs> my psychic landscape. Ah <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, it hurts real bad down in your down in your ego. And then I stopped. There's no further like. Yeah, you made your point, and you made. Are you like that?